okay? The question here is, how does God judge people who have never heard the gospel of Christ? And I think that the Bible indicates that God judges people on the basis of the information that they have. He judges them on the basis of the light that they have. Um, so that those who have never heard of Christ will not be judged on the basis of whether they've placed their faith in Christ. That would be manifestly unfair. They've never heard of Jesus, so how could they place their faith in him? Rather, Paul says in Romans 1 and 2 that they will be judged on the basis of how they've responded to God's general revelation in nature and in conscience. Paul says, in nature, all men at any time in history, any place in the world, can know that there is an eternal and powerful deity who has created the world. And in chapter two he says that God's moral law is written on the hearts of all people, even those who do not have the Old Testament law, so that we do by nature what the law requires. We have an instinctual grasp of right and wrong. And so those who um, have never heard the gospel will be judged on the basis of their response to God's general revelation in nature and conscience. Now that does not mean that someone can be saved apart from the work of Christ. What it would mean is that the benefits of Christ's death could be applied to someone without his conscious knowledge of Christ. If he were to look out at the world and say, I know there's a God who's created all this, look in at his own heart and say, I, I don't live up to the demands of God's moral law, and he flings himself on the mercy of this God, uh, asking for forgiveness and pleading for mercy and grace, um, that person would be saved by grace through the blood of Christ, even if he had no knowledge of Christ. 